So normally, what you're doing here is to you know conserve the endangered mm-hmm. species. Yeah. You know, like treat them. You know the way they should be treated in the wild. You know, yeah. as natural as possible. And also, you know, it is also a good place for young people to learn about you know marine. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Biology and also get the amazement, you know, from what yeah. should you know look under uh, the under wall. the water. Yeah. So, so can you explain to us, like, you know, like, how is this a conservation in your in your concept, sir? Okay, so um, we we house here some some very rare species, right? Yes, and that can be for captive breeding, mm-hmm. so we can produce more. And, Maybe we can and, go and see some. Yeah, yeah. And and hopefully release mm-hmm. into the world. Um, but also we, we, we rescue animals regularly mm-hmm. that need rescuing and, and also try to release as many of those as possible. Yes, sir. Um, and then for the, for the kids and for the, for the animals as well, I guess, it, it's more about inspiring the next generation of Cambodian children to care about the, the forests, the rivers and the yes, wildlife sir. inside. Yeah. Yes, sir. So like, you know, what, what do you mean when you conserve them? Like you, you take care of them in a specific way? You put them in a you know a safe place. You you, you yes. treat them something like that. Sir. Well, it, it, conservation is 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 uh, very complex in many different forms, right? Mm-hmm. So yes, we can have uh, for for us we can have a breeding project for rare animals. Yes, sir. Right. So um, our crocodiles, the Siamese crocodiles, mm-hmm. critically endangered. We breed yes, crocodiles sir. and then we release back to the world. So that but that, but that's only one part. There's mm-hmm. a lot more things we can do to conserve habitats also. Yes, sir. So. Uh, we work more directly with with the species, but mm-hmm. then there's a lot of conservation organisations here which manage protected areas. Mm-hmm. You know, make sure no illegal fishing or, or, or hunting and this sort of thing. So, so conservation is a is a huge yeah. complex area. With so there's not one threat to wildlife. There's many. <laughs> so it means there have to be many ways to try tackle it. Yes, sir. But at the moment, you know, what are the main let's say um, animal that are being you know let's say urgently conserved right now from here so we we obviously we want to focus on the most endangered Mm -hmm. because they're the ones that need the 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 most help so Mm -hmm. um the siamese crocodile Mm -hmm. is critically endangered and also seahorses i i saw seahorses we have also this is a new project we we just start Mm -hmm. seahorses um seahorses get collected um Mm -hmm. a lot from the wild and they sent to markets dry for traditional asian medicine yes sir so they're under a lot of threat now so we have a protected area that we will work with off yes, the Cambodian sir. coast and we will put um, captive red seahorses back to the seagrasses. Mm-hmm. So uh, it, it's, um, um, th- that's a new one. We have also a different few freshwater species uh, mm-hmm. we want to breed. Um, certain tiger perch, mm-hmm. um, one of the species now in Cambodia, we don't think has been present for around 20 years, right? Yes, sir. So we need to find out why. And maybe we can breed some um, and try to put back to protected river systems. Um, and the other one is the giant barb. Mm. The giant barb is the national fish of Cambodia. Yes, sir. Uh, we have some in our main Mekong tank, but the idea is that we will do um, uh, uh, like an aquaculture facility mm-hmm. of display. Yes, sir. Uh, where we can breed many, 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 grow them on, and then release back into the Mekong also. Yes, sir. But you know, because like you said, many perceptions they somehow you know confused between a conservation area and a zoo so what 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 are the differences so like how is zoo so different from conservation area let's say uh, okay so technically there isn't a difference mm-hmm. right so the word zoo yeah. it comes from zoological park that was mm. what um uh, old english term yes sir um but the the word zoo uh is kind of outdated now has and been associated with associated with yes say. with older yeah. animal collections zoos mm-hmm. which weren't so good Mm-hmm. Right, so animal keeping has come a long way. Mm-hmm. So now we, we have a place, there is a place for good conservation and science based mm-hmm. um, animal keeping, like yes, I say, for captive breeding, for rescuing animals, yes, to release all, all this sort of thing. So the difference is like everything you have good ones and you have bad ones. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. so uh, good modern animal collections, call it a zoo or a wildlife park or a whatever, mm-hmm. if they if they're um, working in science, education, and conservation, yes, sir. We, 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 we're doing good things, right? And there is a place for that. But there's also a lot of animal collections which aren't interested in doing that, and just animals for profit, and we don't like that, right? So good and bad at everything. Yes, sir. Yep. Uh, at the same time, so just like a um, you know, general idea, because 
we want young people to know more about our Mekong river system. Yep. And you know, yep. a river without animal, I think it's not really interesting. And you know, I mean, yep. for, for young people, especially Cambodian young people, and especially also, you know, the ones from the urban area, yeah. that they don't uh, all, always uh, come to visit the river. Yeah, so sure. if they come here, what, what can they learn about our, you know, fish in the Mekong River, sir? So, the, the Mekong houses some really, really, uh, not only sadly endangered species, yeah, yes, but al also very iconic, you know, mm. the largest freshwater fish on the planet yes, are from the Mekong system. Mm. So, the giant stingray, you find in Stung Trang and Krach Air. Bob, the so giant, giant barb, yeah. giant catfish, yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, the, these species that are only found in this part of the world. Mm. All right, so, uh, but if, if you never see one, mm -hmm. or you never hear of them, why would you care about them, right? You, do, you don't know that they're endangered, mm -hmm. you don't know the reasons why, yes, sir. and we don't know how to, to, to help. So, um, we, we, we need to be a, a, a voice for those species. And so mm -hmm. the species we keep here are, are kind of, we call an ambassador for the wild species. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, they're, 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 they're ambassador status they, to, they, to they their wild present, counterparts. Yeah. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's a lot easier to teach people and especially inspire kids if mm -hmm. they can come and see those species. Very yes, difficult sir. to do it in like, in, in, without seeing them. Yes, but this is just, a, you know, like a, a question about concept, you know, the way, yeah. let's say, different nationalities, uh, you know, raise their children, let's say. Yeah. So, for example, if I see, you know, foreigners from the Western world, mm -hmm. they normally bring their children to see, you know, wild animal and, you know, so, from young age. Is it to inspire them, you know, to, to let them be interested in their subject? Because, yeah, you know, I, I think yeah. we're very conscious, yeah. uh, like um, in Europe, in America, mm -hmm. I think we're very conscious about wildlife protection now. Yes, sir. Mostly because we don't have much left in, in Europe and America. Mm -hmm. we, we've we, we've been through this, and we've you know we've chopped all our forests down, and we don't mm -hmm. have things. So um, we 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 got there years ago, and so we're now we're very conservation focused, mm -hmm. which is, which is good. Yes, sir. Um, but also it's very important in parts of the world where we still have a lot more wildlife. Like Cambodia mm -hmm. is very biodiversity rich. Yes, sir. What is a, a point in time I have very endangered species in it so mm. of course that that um, that ideology co comes comes here and uh, we want to we, we want to protect you know, like this to and inspire the young generation yeah, yeah, of yeah, yeah yeah of course and, and what we see now is like also you know the young generation is, is, is great and I see a lot of people in Cambodia really really care about the wildlife right yes, and really care about the forest the river systems and this is just something we want to promote mm -hmm. and inspire more yes sir so uh, in this compound, sir, I mean, you have the freshwater animal. Mm -hmm. You also have the freshwater, you know, the, the saltwater salt animal. Saltwater marine, yeah. Yes, sir. So, but but what else sir, in the compound do you have? Like, you want to share to the people? So we yeah. we, uh, you're correct. We have yeah. uh, with with fish. Yeah. Generally, you've got saltwater or, or, or freshwater, yes. and, and we have both here. So you can see fish from the Mekong, and you see fish from the the, the coast of. Cambodia in the sea, yes, um, but then we also have uh, we call terrestrial species, terrestrial land, land, yeah. land animals. So we have tiger, we have, tiger. Yeah. Uh, we have um, bear, black yeah. um, otter. Okay. So otter, they, they are also terrestrial, even though they live partially in water. Yes, but they're not aquatic. So they we class that. So, so oh. the uh, like uh, um, otter, turtle, mm -hmm. crocodile, we still class as terrestrial animals. They're, they're not mm -hmm. fish, basically, or, or, or you know yes, marine sir. mammal. And also reptile. Reptile, terrestrial uh, also, yeah. We have the reptile house. Yeah. Um, we display a lot of snake mm -hmm. species from Cambodia because mm -hmm. snakes are very misunderstood. Mm. And you know, everybody in Cambodia is kind of scared of the snakes. Yep. And um, I, people kill snakes all the time, right? Because they mm. think dangerous. Well, 82% yes, of Cambodian snake species are completely harmless. Mm. But people don't feel that way because there are a few which are dangerous, right? Yes, so sir. instead they kill all. So here you can come and see our snake species. Um, and that is porcupine, sir. Oh, the porcupine with the baby. Baby, yeah. So this is our oh, first baby. Okay. He's doing very well, as you can see. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. He's very playful. Mm. So yes, this is the, the more endangered species of porcupine in, in, in the world. We call a brush-tailed porcupine. Mm. This is fully grown, not like the big one you get here, <laughs> only small like this, around two yeah. kilo. Um, and this baby now is around, uh, is around three months old. Uh, a very playful age, wants to annoy mom all the time. <laughs> wow. 
So they don't they don't hurt each other like no, the, the, yeah. their needles they're not hurt each other. No, no, they they, they only use the the quill yeah, yeah. for defense. Mm. So if I go in there, they get defensive at me and come backwards to, to oh. just to protect themselves. But no, they they like me. So. I see. <laughs> so the benefit of coming here is that you can see the playfulness of the also the yeah. young children. So if you, yeah, if yeah. the children see this one play like mm -hmm. this. They might do the same. <laughs> well, they don't want to yes, see. Sir. They don't want to see anybody oh. hurt this animal, right? Yep, yeah. Or yep. its home, or, or or you know, or mm. set the snare in the forest because you you're gonna injure something like this, right? Mm. So yeah, it's a way of um, telling their story yeah, engaging across with, the people, yeah, engaging, engaging with, with people. the wildness. Yeah. Yep. And the reason we say children is because really they're the next generation of Cambodians. They're, mm. they're the people going to make the difference, right? But yes, sir. also we still need to do the same with adults. It's yeah. just the children are going to be the next um, ones that make the next decisions for the wildlife here. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, do you have plan to like to expand, or is this like enough yeah. for? for no, this, this is um, what we call phase one. Mm -hmm. So the aquarium um, and the, the wildlife park outside is phase one. Yes, the, sir. There are more plans to to extend the park, mm -hmm. um, more species, mm -hmm. uh, more conservation. Yes, sir. Um, but on a time frame, we're not sure. Uh, you know, when, when we start the next phase, I, I'm, I'm not sure when we start building yes, yet. Sir. But uh, yeah, there's a lot more, a lot more planned. Yes, sir. And also the last question, so that our audiences will know you better. Yeah. You are a, a curator. What, yeah. what is what is the job of a curator? So a, a curator is, is a it's an unusual term, right? Not many mm. people know what curator is. So, but a, a curator, what normally does it, it looks after a collection mm. of things. Yes. So if you go to the museum, yeah, the, the, the museum will have a curator. Gallery curator, yeah, so object it, curator. Yeah, and it, we use the same term for animals. So yes. I'm a curator of animals here, so we keep a record of who is everyone, Inventory, how many we have, where they yeah. come from. Yes, so, so that's why we use the term curator, but it's basically animal manager. Basically. Mm, so like a, an administrator, if you put it like that. And, and, yeah. Well, admin and, and practical work. My, my mm. team feed the animal, they look after them, they clean the animal, we do veterinary medicine. So mm -hmm. it's uh, everything that the animals need to be uh, kept um, yes, correctly. Yeah. And uh, how did you land it in Cambodia, so let's say? <laughs> Just a bit of a biography from So I, I, I came yeah. to Cambodia 2018. Oh. Uh, to work in a conservation centre. Yes, sir. Um, be before here uh, at Cabal Spin, or the a ACCB. Mm. So I came to Cambodia to work in wildlife conservation. But it is not your first time in Cambodia in 2018. Yeah, it was. You, yeah. You, oh, first I've never time been or... before here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So I just moved here to yeah. work, and um, mm. I now have been here what six and a half years, and uh, I, I love Cambodia. I love uh, um, yeah. the the. Of course, the wildlife species mm -hmm. are amazing, which mm -hmm. is what we work here to, to try and preserve. But yes, Cambodia as a whole, the people, mm -hmm. everything is, is great. So originally, you you are like a specialist in animals, sir. Not, not a curator yet. Yeah, so right. I, I, I spent more than 20 years working with the animal. Mm. So I, you know, I know how to look after the animal. I know what they need. You work uh, with snake, first of all, that's what a you lot said, of yeah. yeah, my my first passion was snakes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then and then and then crocodile, then mm. turtle, and then uh, over 22 years, go to many different things, bears, tigers. <laughs> but so, I mean, how, how do you know how to take care of all animals? Like, you, I mean, is it like all animals are similar in, in, in No, it's in most very of different, way? very different oh. how to look after a tiger to, mm -hmm. to, a, to a king cobra. But it's about understanding the animal's needs, mm. how they live in the world, yes, sir. how they've evolved, what they need and then we uh, we, we can replicate that here so oh. it, it, it's more this is why we say animal keeping now yep with a scientific background yes sir. so we call it evidence-based animal keeping right mm. we, we 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 go by science now yes, to sir. know exactly what they need so exactly you use how they the, live. the previous data to yeah predict, yeah exactly to yeah. science is yeah. science is always evolving mm. and we're learning things about wildlife all the time Yes, sir. But as that's going, we can put it into practice here. So uh, this is how we know mm -hmm. we're, we're giving the best we can, right? Because mm -hmm. we have scientific background to it. Yes, sir. So thank you, Mr. Mark Dainty, for okay. your, you know, let's say, I think we have covered a loop now. Yeah. Around, yeah. Uh, you know, around the conservation uh, area. Yeah. And yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for your insightful interview. And I okay. hope more Cambodian people will explore, uh, you know, not just only the conservation area, but yeah. also the potential of the nation's um, biodiversity yes. and animal. That's the and point. if we are not careful about this thing, yeah. they might be away. 
forever. You know, we, we have the, the national mammal is the cupra. Mm. The cupra is already extinct. Cupra. The tiger is already mm. extinct. Okay. Yeah. So we know what's going to happen if we don't protect yeah. for the bears, for the, for, you know, what we have left, the giant mm. ibis, the royal turtle, everything's super endangered. Mm. So now we really need to protect those areas and those species in there. Yeah. Yes, sir. But maybe just, you know, an extension, a small extension. Uh, do you think Cambodian have, Cambodia have a lot of, you know, expert in, in you know, animal protection? Yes. Uh, yeah, do yeah, we yeah. need more in the future? Uh, I mean, I think we always yeah. need more, right? Yeah, we always need more. <laughs> um, so, but yes, I mean, Cambodia has a, uh, a great upcoming population of people studying mm -hmm. wildlife conservation mm -hmm. or animal sciences or wildlife sciences, right? Yes, sir. Um, and that, that's something that we need to nurture also. Mm. Um, but yeah, for, for sure, they, yeah. you know, we, we, I work with a lot of people mm -hmm. in the forestry administration, in the fisheries administration, mm -hmm. young Cambodians growing up in the, working in that sector, mm. and it's very good. But the first, the first uh, you know, phase for them to, to be here is to inspire them from you know, from what they can see from the young age, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it, 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 yeah. Uh, if you become, you know, you, you need to be interested in the subject. Mm. And if we, um, you know, bring children here and they can see the animals and learn about them, then those that do become interested in them, yeah. maybe will affect their studies. Mm -hmm. the, the reason I do what I do is because when I was a kid, I saw animals and mm. I, I was very interested. Mm. So. Yes, sir.